Welcome to my little channel where I'm trying to visit all the beaches on Cape Breton Island. Today I'm taking us to Lewisburg Lighthouse and Trail. I'll tell you how to get there, what to expect when you arrive, and I'll end with some interesting information I dug up while researching this beach, so hang around till the end. As usual, I'll start with some imagery from Google Earth. I'll zoom in to Lewisburg Harbor. The lighthouse is over here. Moving northeast is Lighthouse Cove. Morningstar Cove is here, and then Gun Landing Cove. That's the easy section of the trail. A more rugged footpath continues beyond. There's also a look off that I'll show you. How to get there. From the Big Fiddle in Sydney, it's a 37 minute drive. The nearest gas station is in Albert Bridge. When you enter the village of Lewisburg, watch for this sign and turn left. My day started off rainy, but it eventually cleared up, thankfully. This sign tells you it's only 3.2 kilometers to the lighthouse. These signs tell you you're entering a protected area. Because not only does the historic site include the fortress to the southwest of the harbor, it also includes the lighthouse to the northeast. I promise you the weather is going to clear up. I thought I was going to have the place to myself because of the rain, but as you will see in a bit, that was not the case at all. Let's stop here, it's a good place for a picnic and it has nice views of the harbour and the fortress. Here's the view. I'm going to need Google Earth to help me identify these islands. I'm standing right there. All right, so that's Rocky Island, Green Island, and Battery Island. And that's the fortress. The sun's trying to peek out. I thought this was interesting, careening wharf. Many ships entering Lewisburg's harbor were in need of repairs and maintenance. The careening wharf, located on a naturally sloped beach, made it possible for workers to tilt ships on their sides during low tide. This allowed them to make repairs, clear barnacles and other natural debris and apply tar to make the hull watertight. Lewisburg's careening wharf was one of only a few in North America. Can you imagine? All right, continuing to drive to the lighthouse. I visited Saturday, October 12th. When I arrived, it was rainy and windy. It was 12 degrees Celsius, 54 Fahrenheit, winds gusting to 48 kilometers per hour. And by the way, there is cell reception here. Look how many people were here. I'll go over this later in the video. The lighthouse is built up on a hill. Historic Sites and Monuments Board of Canada has a plaque here and it reads, this tablet commemorates the valor and endurance displayed against overwhelming odds by the French forces who in 1745 and again in 1758 garrisoned the defensive batteries on the island opposite the entrance to the harbour of Lewisburg and facing this spot. I've shown you the lighthouse, next I'm going to show you Lighthouse Cliff. You can see the sunlight shimmering on the water. The sun's trying to break through the clouds. If you're familiar with Peggy's Cove on mainland Nova Scotia, some people say this is Cape Breton's version of Peggy's Cove. There's fewer people here though. Now 
Next I'll show you Lighthouse Cove. This is Lighthouse Cove. That is Crow's Roost. Behind it is Morning Star Cove, then Western Gun Landing Cove Head, and Lorraine Head. I'll show you again without all the markup on the screen. All right, let's hit the trail. Here is the trailhead sign. And it reads, the Lewisburg Lighthouse Trail is managed by the Coastal Connections Trail Association, a local not-for-profit volunteer organization. Several institutions, community groups, local businesses, and residents have invested time and resources to make this trail possible. The CCTA continues to provide maintenance with support from Parks Canada. Along the trail, you will encounter an array of scenic coastal views and stories of the past that have shaped this region. The trail was terribly damaged in September 2022 by Hurricane Fiona and was closed for two years. In 2023, the Coastal Connections Trail Association was awarded money from the Sustainable Communities Challenge Fund. This money was used to repair the trail. The trail officially reopened to the public October 8th, 2024. Thank you to the Coastal Connections Trail Association and everyone involved in bringing back this beautiful trail. The trail starts at the lighthouse and goes all the way to Lorraine Head. The yellow line shows the section of trail that's suitable for all, and the orange line shows the section of trail that is more suitable for experienced hikers. The sun's still trying to break through. Along the trail, you'll see these lovely wooden benches. You can see the lighthouse in the background. All right, we're going to go from Lighthouse Cove to Crow's Roost. And I'm looking northeast. Within a few minutes, the sky cleared up, a perfect example of how fast the weather can change here for good or for bad. Okay, from Crow's Roost, we're gonna go to Morning Star Cove. They did such a really good job on this trail. Okay, Morningstar Cove, we're gonna go over to Western Gun Landing Cove Head. End of the yellow line. The orange line continues on the left, but we're not doing that today. In 1758, the British landed cannons here in preparation for their attack on Battery Island and French warships in the Lewisburg Harbor. All right, this is the part of the video where I tell you about some interesting information I learned while researching the beach. 
Lighthouse Point is the site of the very first lighthouse in Canada. It was built by the French and was first lit in 1734. It was destroyed by the British in 1758. The second lighthouse went into service 1842. June 2nd, 1923, it caught fire and burned to the foundation. Construction of the third and current lighthouse began in 1923 and was lit in 1924. It was recently refurbished and in 2024 we celebrated its 100th year. Hey, if you enjoyed this video about Lewisburg Lighthouse and Trail, the best way to support the channel is to subscribe and watch more videos. Watch the videos all the way to the end, hit like, leave a comment, all of that sends positive signals to YouTube and as a result, YouTube pushes my channel to more people. If you're brand new here, welcome to the channel. Check out the playlists I've created especially for you. Check out the video description for extra information. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want you to have a great day and I'll see you sometime next week. Bye for now.